Welcome to my weekly Fabricate Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Today's video is all about paper crafting. I'm here to share how easy it is to make a 3D project. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and I would love to see you shop with me. Hello everybody! Check this cute little package out. So. I almost don't want to open it, but I got to show it to you, so I got to do it. So it opens like that, and inside I have some, uh, like a hair sample, uh, shampoo and conditioner, and some uh, tanner oh, uh, stuff. I just wanted to share with you how I made it. So these are the samples that I have to share. I have AG, which is, I think it's a Canadian product actually. Um, we've got sh uh, conditioner and shampoo and another hair mask and then some more uh, tan moisturizing tan extender. So those are the products that I want to put inside. We need two pieces of um, paper. Uh, this is seven by nine and this is three and one eighths by nine. And then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna score it at three inches here um, and six inches here and here as well, three and six. Tear tape will go Pretty much on either side of the score. I'm going to take my release paper off and then I'm going to do the bottom. Now, if you had a paper that had pattern, you'd want to make sure that you're good with the pattern. All right, so now we're going to fold it. And I will trim off that extra when I'm done. And it's okay if it bulges like that, that's the way it's supposed to be. Because <laughs> you've got products in there, it will bulge. So I'm just going to trim off this little guy. I can see it, so it bugs me. I just cleaned my scissors of adhesive too, so... Okay, so now I'm gonna put my products in. So this lovely tan extender and the shampoo and conditioner from AG and then the Redavid Orchid Oil Mask. Don't tell my clients this, but I think I'm going to be using the Redavid products for Christmas presents. Okay, this is Satin Ribbon. Okay, so now what I want to do is, if this closes, I just want this ribbon I want it full stuck on the back and half stuck on the front. So, <laughs> I will just put 
my tape adhesive tear tape right around the middle I'll pick a line and try to stay with it there Good. you know sometimes eyeballing things is probably the best way to do stuff okay I'm just going to lift up my release paper and now I'm going to put on my ribbon ah. all right so left over right and under and now I'm going to tie a bow. So I gave, I managed to give myself enough ribbon to be able to tie a nice bow. So I'm just going to remove six bumps. One, two, three, four, five. So just that little wedge. All right, so just with a little bit of Tombow on the nozzle, I'll try to spread it out as much as I can on all the thick parts, like Pac-Man. Slip that right in there. I am using the thank you sentiment from Love What You Do. Just gonna tuck that right inside so you, you, that you can't even really see that it's the doily is cut. And then I will embellish it with the Share What You Love pearls. So these are my shares for today. I thought it was really cute. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.